It's an exciting time. It is a lot of fun. As you can see with a smile on my face, we're learning so much and so many more great recipes. Moving on now to another wonderful recipe. Perhaps you've stopped by and travels uh, Joey restaurants all over Canada, and we have them here in Western Washington as well. Chef Jeff Murray is with us here, and a wild and creamy mushroom soup is what he's about to share with us here. Oh, wait a minute, you're way up here. That's you right. are a tall <laughs> chef. I know. I am six two, but six four, six five. And look at the smile, ladies, who are watching at home. <laughs> okay, we're going to do this soup, and it looks very exciting with everything I'm seeing here. There. Yeah, let's talk a little bit about the ingredients. Uh, there is a lot going on, but mm -hmm. it's actually quite simple. For, for mushrooms, you really want to look what's in season. Okay. Um, like the, the whole key to this dish is, you know, wild, fresh, and earthy. Yeah. Um, Perfect. Starting from the right, we have some shimeji mushrooms, which are actually oh, these are cool. from Asia. Yeah. These guys here are their portobellos. You have button mushrooms as well. For flavor, the porcini mushrooms have a ton of flavor. Okay. Chanterelles right now are actually out of season, but when they are, we use fresh ones. For now, I just rehydrated them with some water. Well, the hedgehogs are coming in now. Could we use hedgehogs? You can use Instead whatever of... you want. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, like like I said, mushroom soup. You make it your own. You can you don't you can use as much as or as little as you want. Okay. Um, but these actually grow right around Mount Baker as well. Um, right. Before the frost, it was a tough year for chanterelles this year, but right. um, yeah. You get them dry. Let's get her going. Let's okay. do it. All right. What do we got? So we're going to start off with a little bit of butter and some olive oil. Okay, perfect. This is you. You're, All right. you're in it now. Tell me what you do. Okay, chef. All right, nice we, job. We chef. Okay. You're just going to let this melt uh, a shade, and then we're going to throw in all the mushrooms and onions at once. Wow. Okay. And then you've prepped them, so slice yep. them all. Yeah, and then everything how, sliced. How would we handle these? Look at that. If... Yeah. I'm going to get you to cut those, and actually we're, we'll actually I make the garnish. a knife? Yeah, I know. Okay. We're actually going to garnish um, with fresh mushrooms that we make right now. Okay. So we can go ahead. Let's start. Okay. Um, I'm just going to start with a little bit of onions. Oh, nice. Okay. Sweat the onions. Yeah, and this is going to be a puree soup, so you know, you want to have everything cut moderately the same so it cooks the, cooks on time, Evenly, but right. it's not the end of the world um, okay. if things are a little bit different. That's the uh, goal, okay. Yeah, we're just going to go ahead and throw all the mushrooms in at once. These are your chanterelles. Perfect, and you want high heat? Yeah. Are they supposed to brown? Yeah, they can brown a little bit is okay. Um, you know, clearly you don't want a black soup at the no, end of the day, so I'm trusting you right, right now, okay. right? Okay, okay. all right. Yeah, this is the first. I've never seen a recipe with so many different mushrooms all getting together. Got a spoon to work here. For outstanding soup. Okay. And this technical is good for any kinds of soup. Okay. Like you can make anything you want. Um, if you're using a starchy vegetable, you know, like squash oh, or something, okay. like the same kind of thing would work. Onions and just substitute the squashes nice. for mushrooms Sounds and good. take it from there. Okay. Good. All right. Yeah. So then you sweat these, get them to brown a little bit. I don't see okay. a seasoning, Bridget. Are you oh, seasoning or no? Okay. I didn't know you wanted me to do. <laughs> the yeah, we need meal. to get salt right, and right. pepper. So fresh, I'm going fresh crack then, is that cool? We gotta do it. Okay. And, and both of you being a chef, you guys don't do timers or anything. You're just going by no. look, feel, you wanna, touch. Yeah. That's the yeah. cool part of soup. Okay. You know, you get to throw what you like and good. take out what you don't like. We actually are going to add a little bit of dry oregano. Oh, okay. Fresh nice. herbs are good in a lot of soups, but actually dry tarragon and dry oregano work quite oh, nicely tarragon. in this one. nice, okay. Um, and it's important that we season but nice and early. But what if fresh in the garden? By all means, you can add that. Um, I find like the dry herbs for this as it's going to simmer some stock releases okay. quite a get, bit More of good flavor. flavor. Cool. Um, right. Yeah, but you you want to make sure that you season early on. If you start adding salt and pepper at the very end, right. it's the first thing that whoever you're serving to is going to taste. So oh, okay. it's always important. Anything that's your that's do cooking for yeah, got to do it. So now I was reading your recipe, and there's the spot about the porcini powder. Yeah. Today we actually just used whole ones. Oh, okay. Um, but your, but you you can like these guys here. You know, if they're hard to find in the markets or something, you might only find dry porcinis. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but really, we use them for their great flavor. What's a porcini? Help me here. Um, it is you right know there. it's a North American. Those are the porcini. They're a yeah. sap. Right it grows mostly in the northern hemisphere. Um, Boletus. We know them for their you know they're strong in flavor. You know they have that good earthy earthy taste to them. So okay. it's something you want to stick with for me at least. But mm -hmm. like I said. Nice. At home, if you great. want to change some things, you're more than welcome to. Now, do you right. forage? Yeah, you can. Have you? No, yeah. But have you done it? Mount Baker, these actually grow. Um, oh, sweet, so you do it. Nice. And <laughs> our, my executive chef, actually, when he created this recipe, was finding them in Vancouver Island. So wow. they do grow. As soon as the frost comes, they're gone. So right. get them while you can. Right. Okay, we're looking good right now. Ready to roll. Um, we're just going to add, I think it looks a little dry. We're just going to add a little bit more butter. Okay. And then we're going to add uh, a little bit of flour just to make a little roux oh, and bring nice. everything together. So we can go ahead and turn this down a bit. Okay, you got it. 
Good. Little roux Good. action. There you you got go. a spoon for me? I do, oh, right here. Are you on it? There we go. Yeah. Spoon detail on the right. So you're just going to add a little bit of, just dust the flour uh, to bring it together. These are like, you know, you will get a little bit of starch in mushrooms, right. but... And then once that's there, right. um, you're pretty much ready to add stock, which I have just chicken stock that we make in-house at Joey. Oh, nice. Um, and I have what it's going to look like right here. So this is what it's going to look like right after uh, oh, you add the stock. Oh, got it. So you steep everything to release the flavors. Yeah, it's, okay. It's for sure the dry mushrooms, like these ones you don't, like, if you can find fresh chanterelles, you got to use them. Then you don't need to steep them at all. Okay. Um, you know, in hindsight, if you can find them fresh around, saute right. them and freeze them. It's the best way to store them oh, and alter them to dry. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so you just saute garden. them and then cool them down and then bag them. Yeah, that's right. Oh, cool. Okay. We are going to do the garnish now. So okay. this step is done. That's what's like in the stock. We are going to blend it in a minute. Okay. Excuse um, me. And then let's do, uh, this is your show right now. It's your show. Are you ready? <laughs> I am ready. Okay. I will set it's Mark's show. You. Mark, it's your show. <laughs> Okay. All right, Mark, are you watching? I've never seen these before. Okay. This is new. So, if you want to, if you want to taste, it's up to you. They're actually quite bitter mm -hmm. um, when they're raw, okay. but the, the flavor difference when they're cooked is quite astounding. All right, so I'm gonna go for it here. Oh, interesting. Now, do you use oil or butter on this one? We're gonna use oil, mm -hmm. and we're actually because this is gonna need to be pretty hot because they're so small. Right. They're in danger of overcooking quickly, so okay, we're gonna I'm put gonna a little bit of oil in there. Yeah. Okay. And I'll let the pan get nice yeah, and hot. Yeah, that's good. So one of the tricks, yeah, Mark, more. is to heat the pan, don't add the oil yet. Okay, heat the heat pan. Heat the pan, don't no add the yet. oil. That way you get a high temperature on the pan. Okay. If you add the oil too soon, the oil burns. That's right. Mark, have you been listening? Are we going to season How now or later? Is that okay? No, you're going to season now. You want to do it early. <laughs> Mark's paying attention. I wasn't <laughs> sure about him at first. So we're going to season now. And then there's already blonde oil joke. here. Insert blonde joke. <laughs> I think he's got blonde hair as well, doesn't he? Everybody. <laughs> Okay, that's pretty hot, yeah. Yeah, let's, let's get a little bit of oil, not too much, just okay. to get a just nice a little skosh. season. Yeah, Wait a minute, you're lots. Canadian, right? I am, originally from Canada. A little skosh. So we're just going to get those in there. And you d just be patient and okay. let them go. Don't so touch them. If we don't keep touching them. them, they're going to go soggy. and okay. We don't want to do that, do we? Got it, got it. So we'll let those sit for about a minute. Um, just mind the temperature. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and we're looking for browning. We want some color, yeah. Okay. Yeah, there is some, we're yeah, done. we're done, yeah. We're done right. There is some finished product here, um, but we're going to make them fresh and you'll see the difference. Right. And then we'll taste them and you can Beautiful. tell me okay. the difference. Okay. And could you use any of these if you wanted for garnish? Oh, totally. You can, okay. like, fresh chanterelles look great on plates. Yeah. So I'm going to leave you in charge. Okay. You're, you're going on this guy the, here, we're going gonna, on the grind? Yeah, we're actually going to put this in the Vita blender and then we're going to show you what it looks like uh, when it's done. Sounds good. Okay, okay. got it. Blender ready. Just underneath you here. Those can probably be moved. Okay. Yeah, oh, little so that quick. That quick. 30 seconds, and so those are going to be done. That's done. See okay. the nice color coming uh, out? Yeah. No, give them another 30. Okay. And Just anything else going on? You want to make sure you put the top on. Right, we've Mark. got the top on. I just yeah. want to make sure we're all done. Vitamins. You don't want to burn that pretty face. Right. Yeah. Okay. So these operate at a very high resolution. This is going to be done 30 seconds. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Low speed, low speed. Yeah, let it go. We actually can get it on high for a second. This is a cream soup, so we want to get okay. it yeah. pretty well. Like that'll do it. Wow. Um, and you can see the color already that's come out of it. Okay. Chef, um, chef, good. are we okay here? Yeah, you're done. Okay, done. Eat off. So, because the mushrooms are all, like they already right. give a creamy, nice texture. Mm -hmm. So we are gonna add a little bit of cream, but as far as cream goes, it's seven to one um, stock over cream. Okay. So this one would get finished with a little cream, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you exactly what it's gonna okay. look like when it's done. Yeah. Um, this can go. Garnish is here, ladle. We probably want to get this off the heat on maybe a plate okay. with some paper towel. You got it. Or something along those lines. You got it right here. Perfect. For these guys. Yeah. That'll work. Okay. Perfect. So you can see the difference in mm -hmm. color. Mm -hmm. um, we will try one before we actually eat the finished soup. Okay. Um, but we're almost ready to go ahead and you guys can plate one if you like. Do you want to try and plate one or do you want me to do it? It's your restaurant. Decisions, you decisions. Do it. You sh well, chef, show me how it's done. Totally. I know. Come on, Jeff, plate it. <laughs> like I said before, do you have a small bowl I can use? I do. Um, yeah. Like I said before, can you can either clean there, go chef? ahead and you can put whatever you want into it, or you can come down to any one of our locations and They'll come try the mushroom soup. Or <laughs> We do have uh, a bunch of other soups on the menu as well that we rotate through. Nice. Yeah. And where's your restaurant here in town? We have one just in South Lake Union. We nice. also have one 
uh, in Bellevue and South Centre Mall. Now, it's a Canadian company. It right? is, yeah. Cool. There's a lot of locations. We actually been Good doing um, a cup of care program where we do we donate soup. Um, around across Canada. And last year we did 15,000 cups wow. of soup and we're rolling it wow. out in, uh, cool. in Seattle can... this year. Great. Is there a real Joey? A Joey of restaurants? You gotta do your research, Mark. Uh. No. Uh, right here, we're just gonna put a little bit of Chantilly cream on. The answer is yes. Okay. Yeah, there is. <laughs> I'm sure there's a lot of Joey's in this one. And then we're gonna use Garnish. the mushrooms that we just yeah. did. Mm -hmm. You guys wanna try them? And let yes. me know what the difference in taste is. Cool, beautiful. Look at those. You did good, Bridget. Bridget. Thank you. Yeah. That big taste. Yeah, a lot different than the first mm -hmm. ones. Oh, and then you can just shingle yeah. these around. Like I said, you can use any mushroom you want. Like, okay. right. there's no, it's not set in stone, but this is the way that we're doing it. Mm -hmm. And then we have fresh parsley. Such an just, elegance. Yeah. Soup. And just. There it is. Sweet. It's nice beautiful. and simple and awesome. That's you guys want awesome. to give it a try? Yep. I'd love to. Fantastic. Yeah. You know, I got to tell you too, and I was late on mushrooms. I would just, I wouldn't touch them as a kid. We had bad experiences. Um, you got a spoon. I got yeah, a spoon. So this is, this is good. This is great. Here we go. Mm. Oh boy. Fantastic. Wow. Put me home on a nice Heavenly. rainy day in front of a fire. Give me a bowl wow. of that. Yeah. <laughs> Paradise. Uh, Perfect. Very exciting. Really good. Very nice tasteful. Job. Thank, Thank you, you, Jeff, nice. for coming on Absolutely. in. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Joey's Thank Restaurant. Yeah, you as well. Good job. Take care. Yeah. All over Canada, Western Washington, for the wild and creamy mushroom soup. <laughs> but why not make your own? It's in the cookbook and on the DVD. Call 1 800 443 1999 and online, kcts9.org. Yummy. Yummy, 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 yummy. Nice. Thank <music> you.